A man from the Gestapo is here to see you. Gestapo? <laughs> Did you say what for? No, but he notices everything. <laughs> Keep him busy for a minute. He seems very young to be here. Why is he not at the front? He has many medical problems. <laughs> My orders are directly from Berlin, from the Führer himself. The Chateau Fontenac is in your district. It has come to his attention that in the Fontenac collection is the fallen Madonna by Van Klomp. <laughs> The Fjola would like this for his collection, but I have bad news. When I visited the chateau, it had already been taken away, along with one or two other valuable pieces. It is the French. They pinch everything. <laughs> I shall remain in the district until it is found. You will instigate searches immediately. Very good, Herr Flick. You will report progress tomorrow at what time shall we say? <laughs> Very well. At five o'clock tomorrow. Heil Hitler. What, what an honor it is to be received in in your wonderful commandeered office. <laughs> I have taken the liberty of bringing a few simple, worthless gifts for you. A bottle of Chateau Lafitte 37, and some rather good cigars, which I was keeping until after the war was over, but as you were doing so well, I thought you might as well have them now. <laughs> some cheese, a little cognac, uh, Napoleon, of course, and a small bottle of perfume for your assistant. Thank you very much, but I don't wear it. <laughs> Not you, this assistant, this beautiful young lady, this fine example of German woman. Klinkerhofen is here. Klinkerhofen is here. Is here. <laughs> really, my friend, we may have to insult you a little, call you pig and dog and that sort of thing. Oh, dear <laughs> Colonel, feel free. <laughs> General von Klinkerhofen. Heil Hitler! Heil Hitler! Klopp! <laughs> Silence, you dog! Hyena! <laughs> I must remember that. <laughs> You'll be shot at dawn. Of course, I will supervise it personally. Good. How does seven o'clock suit you? Later would be better for me. <laughs> Great thing, dog! Hyena! <laughs> Frog face! <laughs> Heil Hitler! Unexpected, Herr Flick. So it seems. We were just reading how well the war is going. There's a very good picture of the Führer on page three. <laughs> the resistance are arranging everything. I didn't hear that. The resistance are arranging everything. <laughs> this is fool! Oh, but Colonel, that sounds a little bit risky. I... The way we will arrange it, there will be no risk at all. That being the case, why do you not do it yourselves? <laughs> they have to give the party. Well, I can give the party. Ah, but you don't know old traditional Bavarian dancing? I could learn. I'm very quick. You think so? <laughs> Show him. Oh. Mm. One, two, three. <laughs> now, if I may suggest, we just wipe the slate clean, eh? Now, you have no painting, I have no airmen. But on the other hand, I do have the girls. 
Which brings us back to point one. <laughs> Shall we say nine o'clock? Agreed. Uh, wait. Eh? With the wet celery and the flying helmet. <laughs> <laughs> and a great big steaming plate of spaghetti bolognese and three feet of elastic. <laughs> Hans, just between the two of us, what exactly have you got in mind? Well, I, I, I thought I would have a quick snack while Maria repairs my long winter underwear. <laughs> I think we should go. I find the presence of nuns very uplifting. <laughs> we must definitely go. <laughs> I'll have you shot. But, Colonel, you cannot have me shot. I am not We are winning the war. I am a German officer and I can shoot anyone I like. <laughs> Show me what you've got. <laughs> Good. Colonel, uh, am, am I allowed to see what Helga has got? <laughs> Helga has a normal knockwurst, <laughs> made by a butcher, which we'll be sending to the Führer. It is very simple. The priceless portrait of the fallen Madonna for the big boobies is concealed inside a knockwurst, which is hidden in the Rene's cellar. The forged painting of the fallen Madonna for the big boobies is concealed inside a similar knockwurst, which is hanging in the Rene's kitchen. The knockwurst concealed on my person is to be sent to Herr Hitler, who is under the impression that it contains the original painting of the fallen Madonna for the big boobies. Which is in the cellar. Which Herr Flick of the Gestapo thinks is in the kitchen. I only asked if I could have a look. <laughs> <laughs> who is it? Uh, it is only me, dear Colonel, uh, Rene from the cafe. <laughs> we have good news, René. Helga has a normal knockwurst to put on the train to Berlin for the Führer. Helga, show him. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I missed it again. <laughs> yes, Helga, what can we do for you? Judging from past experience, very little. <laughs> I have something very serious to report, and it is very personal. A bun in the oven? <laughs> How dare you! Helga, you are amongst friends. What is it? I have to report that I have lost my knickers. <laughs> it's on the right line. <laughs> has accepted the challenge on your behalf. Lieutenant Gruber is going to fight the undertaker? No! Uh, no. <laughs> One of your closest friends, I have agreed to be second. Lieutenant Gruber knows all about this kind of thing. He was at Heidelberg. At, at Heidelberg, they, they fight for their honor all the time. <laughs> Actually, in spite of the popular rumors about Heidelberg, fighting for one's honor is not compulsory. You can give in. <laughs> to say goodbye or kiss me for perhaps the last time. Oh, well, it is. It is a bit embarrassing with the colonel and the captain here. Yeah, uh, stick your head down the hole and do it. <laughs> but I don't know what they see in the man. He has quite good legs. Hang on. The wheel. The wheel? <laughs> I will take care of the organ. The organ? <laughs> Before we start, have you any last requests? Blue skies around the corner? <laughs> Shoulders to the ceiling! Hans, what are you doing down there? I'm waiting for the ceiling to get down to my shoulders! <laughs> <laughs> 